Okay, guys, today we are reading Daedalus and Icarus. If you remember, Daedalus was our genius from yesterday. He was the one that um, created the labyrinth that Theseus and the other Athenians got um, lost in when King Minos came to Remember, King Minos was the king that was upset that his son had died in Athens. So every nine years, he sailed to Athens with his black sails on a ship, and he would pick up seven um, 18-year-old men and women to take back to the labyrinth to um, have to battle the um, Minotaur. Sorry, I <laughs> lost the word for a second. The Minotaur, and <clears throat> no one had ever won until Theseus went. And he left with King Minos' daughter. So King Minos is kind of upset right now. And that's where we're starting our story. This is the story of a very brilliant man, a genius whose name was Daedalus. He was able to look at a problem and think about it until he figured out the answer. Once, however, Daedalus fa faced a challenge he wished he would not have to solve. And that was when he made the labyrinth. King Minos of Crete was upset with upset with Daedalus for helping the young hero Theseus defeat the Minotaur and escape from Crete with Minos' daughter, Princess Ariadne. The king had no proof or evidence, he could not prove, that uh, Daedalus had helped him. But he believed that only Daedalus was smart enough to have done it, since he had also created the, the labyrinth. So King Minos announced, Daedalus, you helped them escape, so now I will lock you up in turn. And since there were two of you responsible for their escape, one of whom was my own daughter, you shall share your punishment with your son, Icarus. The king was too smart to lock Daedalus in an ordinary cell. However, for he feared the... Um, However, for he feared the genius might escape. He commanded, guards, lock up Daedalus and Icarus in the great stone tower that overlooks the ocean cliffs. There is only one window at the top of the tower and one door, which we will lock. Even if they escape through the window, there is nothing below but sharp rocks and raging tides. Do you think they could ever escape a place like that? So the father and son were locked away. Twice a day, soldiers unlocked the door to deliver food or take away dishes. On one of those occasions, Daedalus sent a message by the soldiers to King Minos. If we must live out our lives here, at least give us some books to read and candles by which to read them after dark. Minos saw no harm in that and agreed, but he should have known better, for Daedalus had a plan. Hmm, I wonder what kind of plan he could have had. Using books and candles. Hmm. He and Icarus would set breadcrumbs on the windowsill. That bottom part of the window where you see the bird standing is called a windowsill. They would set bread, breadcrumbs on the sill of the tower's high window to attract seabirds. Over a period of months, the birds lost their fear of Daedalus and his son and would allow the two men to pick them up. The father and son began to pluck feathers from their wings, though not so many as <clears throat> would hurt the birds or keep them from flying. He and Icarus hid the feathers under the beds, along with some wax from each candle the soldiers supplied. Until after several years, Daedalus told his son, Now we have what we need in order to escape. Hmm. Okay, so they have feathers and they have wax. What and books? Hmm, what could they be making? Daedalus began to unravel threads. Ooh, remember the word unravel from yesterday? Daedalus began to unravel threads from the blankets in their tower room. Using the flames of the candles for heat, he melted and shaped the wax they had saved, inserted into the feathers they had hidden and tied it all with thread. Icarus's eyes lit up. You're making us wings. Daedalus smiled. If we cannot walk from our prison, we will fly. Come hold that candle closer to soften this wax so I can bend it. Ooh, so he used the feathers and the thread and the wax to make them wings. Do you guys think that they'll work? 
It took several days to finish the work until one morning the two sets of wings were ready. Daedalus had studied the movements of the birds and knew where the currents of air blew near their, their blew near their seaside tower. Sorry, so he had been watching the wind to see the best way they should fly. He carefully taught Icarus what he knew, adding, "We will land at that harbor over there, remove our wings, and sail away in one of those boats anchored there." By the time King Minos knows we're gone, gone, we will be far from Crete. However, my son, follow me as I ride the winds safely down. If we are not if we are not careful and we fly too high, the sun's heat will melt the wax in our wings and plunge us down into the sea. Our friends, the birds, need not fear this, but we are only borrowing their skills. So we're only pretending to be birds. Real birds don't have to worry about getting too close to the sun. But because we're only pretending, we need to be careful. I understand, Father, Icarus replied. Below their tower were dangerous rocks and crashing waves. Daedalus worried that they might not make it. He thought over every detail and then told his son, It is time to regain our freedom. Come. Stepping up to the, t to the window, he drew a deep breath and leaped forward, and his wings worked. The air lifted him and held him. Looking back over his shoulder, he saw his son leap from the tower. Icarus laughed out loud at the sheer joy of flying. Lifting and dipping the, wing, the tips of his wings, he turned and swirled, delighted in the wonder of it all. Forgotten in the moment was his father's warning. As Daedalus glided gracefully down towards the harbor, Icarus thought, I wonder if I can make this kind of curve or that. And he rode the winds higher and higher and farther and farther out over the ocean. Uh-oh, what do you guys think is going to happen? Daedalus looked back, but Icarus was not following behind. Eyes wide with fear, Daedalus called, Icarus, come down! But the boy shouted, look, father, and continued his tricks in the air, until all of a sudden he saw a feather loosen and drop from one of his wings. He realized that he had flown too high, and the growing heat from the morning sun was melting the wax. Desperately, or wildly, with a sense of he was panicked, Icarus tried to turn and follow his father's path, but the warming air currents carried him higher. The feathers began dropping from his wings, with one at a t first with one at a time, and then in clumps. Father, help! But Daedalus, Daedalus could not turn and rise fast enough to help. He could only watch. Too many feathers had fallen out, and the wings could no longer support Icarus. He plummeted or fell straight down, down, down into the sea. Icarus, I'm sorry, Daedalus, weeping, reached the harbor, took a boat, and sailed off to safety. So a lot like yesterday, that story did not have the most happy ending. The person that had a goal succeeded in their goal, but just like yesterday, Theseus wanted to defeat the Minotaur and escape. He did do that, but then he forgot to change his sails and his father fell into the sea. And today, um, Daedalus' invention worked and the wings worked and they were able to fly, but only one of them made it safely. So I want you to think about what's the same and what's different between this story and some of the other stories we had read, have read. And I want you to um, think about some of these questions. These are the ones you're going to see in your quiz today. Um, why does King Minos lock them up in the tower? Why was he so mad with uh, uh, Daedalus? And why did he lock up Icarus with him? Why didn't he just lock him up on his own? Um, how did they escape? What did they use to escape? What were the different materials that they used to escape? And um, did it work? Did they make it safely from the tower? So um, when you're now that this is done, I want you to go to the quiz. Um, our settings are different, so now you can press play, and the quiz will read the question for you. So you'll and the answers. So you'll be able to listen and then choose which one sounds the most correct to you. Have fun, guys.